Christians, who are considered the primary obstacle to world unity under Antichrist. A magazine called the Omega Letter says that there is only one obstacle to world unity, Christianity. It goes on to say that Christianity claims supernatural knowledge and divine revelation and therefore should not be tolerated. Gus Hall, the former leader of the Communist Party in America said, I dream of a time when the last congressman is strangled to death on the guts of the last preacher. And since the Christians love to sing about the blood, why not give them a little of it? A New Age group calling itself Solar Questers writes, These are wondrous times because the world has gone through this terrific experience as it spins slowly back to its rightful orbit in the position that it should be in the heavens. And as this happens more and more, more comfort and well-being will come upon this world and those who hinder will be removed, liquidated. They must be wiped clean off the face of the earth. Ruth Montgomery, sometimes referred to as the Herald of the New Age, said, Millions will survive and millions won't. Those who won't will go into the spirit state because there is truly no death. The authors of a New Age pamphlet titled Cosmic Countdown claim to have received messages from a higher intelligence. The pamphlet says the world should be forewarned to be on the lookout for the decimation of populations. These peoples will eventually be replaced by the new root race about to make its appearance in a newly cleansed world. But perhaps the most disturbing comments come from New Age author Barbara Marks Hubbard. Researchers John Ankerberg and John Weldon report that due to her vast financial wealth and influence among leading world politicians and industrialists, she is having a major impact behind the scenes. She has been influenced by spirits for almost two decades. In her book titled Happy Birthday Planet Earth, Hubbard wrote, The choice is, do you wish to become a natural Christ, a universal human, or do you wish to die? People will either change or die, she says. That is the choice. Hubbard says, There have always been defective seeds. In the past, they were permitted to die a natural death. We, the elders, have been patiently waiting to take action to cut out this corrupted and corrupting element in the body of humanity. Hubbard's spirit guides gave her a vision of things to come. They told her that out of the full spectrum of human personality, one-fourth is electing to transcend, one-fourth is destructive, and they are defective seeds. Now as we approach the quantum shift from the creature human to the co-creative human, the human who is the inheritor of God-like power, the destructive one-fourth must be eliminated from the social body. Fortunately, you are not responsible for this act. We are. We are in charge of God's selection process for planet Earth. He selects, we destroy. We are the riders of the pale horse, death. Jesus said, Yea, the time cometh, that whosoever kills you will think that he does God a service. And these things they do unto you, because they have not known the Father, nor me. But these things have I told you, that when the time shall come, you may remember that I told you of them. But if all these things are so, what is a person to do? We ask that question of Pastor Joe Schimmel, Senior Pastor of Blessed Hope Chapel in Simi Valley, California. Jesus said, he that's not with me is against me. So you could be in the New World Order side, you know, a black magician or a Satanist, or somebody that's just caught up in that lie, and you're not for Christ, you're against him. But you could also be someone who's fighting against the New World Order and think you're doing good, but refuses to submit to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Refuses to uh, respond to the gospel and repent of your sins and turn to Christ as your Lord and Savior. And you're under the same condemnation and the same judgment as the Antichrist and the New World Order. And sadly, there's many people today that see what's going on to a degree, only part of the puzzle, Yet they're in, in as much rebellion against God as many of these people that are in the New World Order. And my hope and my prayer is that people that see what's going on uh, would not play into Satan's hands. Because what's going to happen in the end is there's going to be many people fighting against the New World Order. 
and they're going to think they're going to be doing good. And Satan, I believe, in the end time is going to use that as newsreel clips for see what the Christians are doing these crazy these crazy people, and uh, and Satan is going to use that actually against Christians in the very end. So we true Christians that know Christ need to submit to the Scripture, need to realize that if God calls us to die as martyrs. We need to die as martyrs. If God calls us to escape with our families into the mountains, we need to do that. But one thing we need to make sure we don't do is we don't want to make sure we're not the ones trying to blow up the Pentagon or, you know, blow up the United Nations because then what we end up doing is playing right into Satan's hands. So my heart and my hope and my prayer for anybody listening, especially if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, is that you'd recognize that you're a sinner, man. You've fallen short of God's glory. I'm sure you've lied sometime in your life. I'm sure you dishonored your mom or your dad at some time in your life. I'm sure that you used God's name in vain. I'm sure you took something that didn't belong to yours at some time. The Bible says all have sinned. You're a sinner. You're doomed. You're under God's condemnation because of rebellion. But God loved you, the Bible says. And he sent his son to pay the penalty you deserve, to die in your place. And he paid that penalty. And the scriptures say that if you receive Jesus Christ into your life, the Bible says as many as received him, he gave the right to become the children of God. Jesus said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anybody let me in, I'll come into him and fellowship with him and he with me. So the Bible says you can have eternal life. The Bible says, Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right now, if you call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and cry out to him and say, Save me, I believe that you died for me, you'll be saved. And it doesn't matter what man will do to you. It doesn't matter what the new world order does to you. Uh, that lying can swallow the body, but he can't swallow your soul. And Jesus, the Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And the Bible says if you confess, as Jesus said, me before men, I'll confess you before the Father and the angels in heaven. However, if we deny him before man, he'll deny you before the Father in heaven. So let's confess Christ as Lord and Savior. Let's truly follow him for the heart. Let's dig into our Bibles. Let's follow him the Bible way. And that's uh, my advice is turn to the scripture and turn to Jesus. In his second epistle, the apostle Peter wrote, But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are in it shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy living and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God? You therefore, beloved, seeing that you know these things before, Beware, lest you also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory, both now and forever. Amen. <laughs>